Now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, we gather around the table of the Lord to listen to His word with burning hearts and to allow Him to open our eyes as He breaks bread with us. We ask Him to stay with us as we experience the darkness of this crisis. Today, as one people, we who rejoice in the name Pueblo Amante de Maria, Bayang Sumisinta kay Maria, make our consecration and entrustment to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. She knows all our struggles, sufferings, and hopes, with the mother's awareness and concern. We turn to her, the mother of our Redeemer and our mother, the handmaid of the Lord, to help us conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. As at Cana in Galilee, with her prayers, we trust that joy and celebration will return 
after this time of trial. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession, we may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. All of this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For us the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. 
As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And, he was, and when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, after yesterday's solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, we celebrate today the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And today's feast tells us what is in Mary's heart. Ano ba ang laman ng puso ni Maria? The last line of our gospel today mentions Mary's heart. His mother kept all these things in her heart. What are the things that Mary keeps in her heart? Mary keeps in her heart all her experiences with Jesus. And so if we open the heart of Mary, what will we find? What is there in Mary's heart? We can find in Mary's heart the memory of Jesus. Daladala ni Maria sa kanyang puso ang kanyang karanasan at alaala Kay Jesus. That is why Mary's heart is immaculate. That is why Mary's heart is pure, clean, uncluttered, because it contains 
only Jesus. Kapag ang puso natin ay si Jesus ang laman, mananatiling malinis ang puso. Pero kapag ang puso natin hindi si Jesus ang laman, magkakagulo ang puso yan. Malilito ang puso yan. Mawawasak ang puso yan. Sapagkat ang nagpapalinis at nagpapadalisay ng ating mga puso ay si Jesus. And so, our feast today tells us that Mary's heart belongs to Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, if we try to open our hearts, kapag bubuksan po natin ang puso ninyo, ano kaya ang makikita natin? Sino ba ang laman ng ating puso? Para kanino ba ang ating puso? The Gospel today is about the finding of Jesus in the temple. And that is a great tragedy that could happen to any Christian, to any one of us. The tragedy of losing Christ from our hearts. Saint Augustine said, Our hearts are made for God. Ang puso natin ay para sa Diyos. At isang malaking trahedya, isang malaking kapahamakan, kapag yung pusong nilikha para sa Diyos, ay nawala ang Diyos. That is why today, it, as we celebrate the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we are reminded of what should be there in our heart, like Mary's heart. St. Augustine also said that even before Mary conceived Jesus in her womb, Mary already conceived Jesus in her heart. Bago pa man dinala ni Maria si Jesus sa kanyang sinapupunan, si Jesus laman na ng puso ni Maria. And so we check our hearts today. Is Jesus still there in your heart? Si Jesus pa ba ang laman ng puso natin? O baka naman nawawala na rin si Jesus? We have lost Jesus and He is no longer there in our hearts because something or someone has already replaced Jesus from our hearts. And so, if we have lost Jesus, if Jesus has been dethroned from our hearts, if Jesus lost His rightful place in our hearts, then let us heed the exhortation of St. Paul in our first reading today, Be reconciled with God. To be reconciled with God means to bring back God in my life to bring back Jesus in my heart. Let us be reconciled with God so that we may remove anything that takes the place of Jesus in our hearts and give Jesus the rightful place, the throne in our hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, Today's celebration of the Immaculate Heart of Mary has also been declared by the bishops of the Philippines to be the day to pray the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And later, before the conclusion of the Mass, we will pray this act of consecration as one nation we shall once again consecrate ourselves and our country to Mary's Immaculate Heart. It is as if we are telling Mary, like your heart that belongs to Jesus, let our country, our land, our peoples belong also to Jesus. Nawa ang bansang ito ay 
maibalik si Jesus sa kanyang tamang lugar. Kilalaning muli si Jesus at ilukluk muli si Jesus sa nararapat niyang lugar sa ating bayan, sa ating bansa. My dear brothers and sisters, let us listen to our Blessed Mother, our Immaculate Mother, telling us today, Look at my heart. Look at my Immaculate Heart. My heart belongs totally to Jesus. And let us listen to Mary asking us, What is there in your heart? To whom do your heart belongs? Belong. And may we also be able to tell her, Like you, like your heart, my heart also belongs to Jesus. Totally to Jesus. Only to Jesus. Please stand. Let us pray to God, our loving Father, that following the example of Mary, we may always seek and do His will. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may practice the humility of Mary in willingness to serve God and man. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may find a welcome adobe in the hearts of people as He found a well-prepared dwelling place in Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That true spirit of prayer may deeply penetrate the hearts of people that they may hear the cry of the poor as it permeated the whole being of Mary's Immaculate Heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may find healing and consolation through the powerful intercession of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dying may look up to Mary as their source of strength and comfort as she stood by the cross of her Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Lord and Master, cleanse our hearts that we may receive Christ, your only Son, in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name, on the feast day of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and, and my, my soul shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may grow in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel and let us all together pray the national consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We have recourse to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, as we recite the words of this antiphone, with which the Church of Christ has prayed for centuries, we find ourselves today before you, our Immaculate Mother. 
we who make up the body of Christ pre present in our land, recite the words of this act of consecration and entrustment in which we gather, first of all, the hopes and anxieties of our Filipino people at this moment of our history. Mother of our people, we rejoice in the name Pueblo Amante de Maria, a people who love Mary, bayang sumisinta kay Maria. You know all our sufferings and our hopes. You who have a mother's awareness of all the struggles between good and evil, between light and darkness, which afflict the world today. Mother of our people, accept the cry which we, deeply moved by the Holy Spirit, address directly to your heart. Embrace with the love of the Mother and handmaid of the Lord our people and our land, which we now entrust and consecrate to you. For we are truly concerned for the earthly and eternal destiny of every individual among us, and for all our people. We have recourse to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities. Dearest Mother, we consecrate and entrust to you our lives, our families, our nation, our archdiocese, to your loving and immaculate heart. From, from hatred, hatred violence, violence, and conflicts, and conflicts which, which divide, divide and destroy, destroy our people, people deliver us. From, from sins against human life from its very beginning, beginning deliver us. us. From, from the, the demeaning of the dignity of the, dignity of the children of God, God deliver us. us. From, from every, every kind, kind of injustice in the life of society, society deliver us. From readiness to trample on the commandments of God, deliver us. From the loss of awareness of good and evil, deliver us. From sins against the Holy Spirit, deliver us. Accept, O Immaculate Mother of Christ, this cry, laden with the hopes and burdens, the sufferings of each one of us and of all our people. Let there be revealed once more in our own history as a people the infinite power of the redemption, the power of merciful love. May it destroy the power of sin and evil among us. May it transform consciences. O Mary, Mother of Jesus and our Mother, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Amen. Manalangin din po tayo sa mahal na Birhen ng Antipolo. Mahal na ina at reyna ng mag-anak na Pilipino, gabayan mo ang lahat ng mga ina ng tahanan. Kung paanong ikaw ang unang naging tagapagturo ng iyong anak, gawin mo silang halimbawa para sa ikagagaling ng mga kabataan sa pagtuturo at pagtatanglaw sa kanila. Isinasamo namin sa iyo na turuan mo at ilawa ng kaluluwa namin at tulungan mo naman kaming umilaw, magturo at makitulong sa kaginhawahan ng iba at kagalingan ng kapwa namin tao. Igawad mo sa amin ang biyayang hinihingi namin sa pagsisiyam na ito, kung ito'y ukol sa kapurihan ng Diyos at kagalingan ng kaluluwa namin. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessings now and forever. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life, 
now and forever. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Maria, ina ng awal.